Hi everybody, it's Janae Kniss. I'm here with you today to make fudgesicles. This is a great recipe. It's a combination of one of Dr. Gundry's ice cream recipes and an old Italian olive oil gelato recipe. This is a super easy recipe to make because you don't have to heat anything up in a saucepan. Everything goes into Vitamix and or a regular blender. You don't even have to have a fancy, you don't have to have a fancy mixer at all. We're gonna put all of these ingredients in and then they're gonna go into fudgesicle molds that you can find on Amazon or anywhere online. They're, they're readily available and they last a long time. This is about the third season on these. So let me start off with the ingredient list for you. Uh, we're gonna have two cans, two full fat cans of coconut milk, two, two whole avocados, Three, three quarters of a cup of erythritol. Now this, um, again, with sweeteners, you always have to adjust the flavor up and down. I find on frozen uh, products, I want more sweetener. So you'll just have to taste it and see what you think. You can always cut this down to a half a cup or add even up to a cup. It's, that's really up to you. Now I'm using Vitacost erythritol, um, but you can use Swerve. You can use, um, just like sugar, any of the sweeteners that you like will work. Then we're going to use a half a cup of non-Dutch 100% uh, cocoa. We're going to use a half a cup of Lily's unsweetened, or well, they're sweetened, but with stevia, chocolate chips, uh, two teaspoons of vanilla, a tiny pinch of salt, not, not much. It's not even a quarter of a teaspoon. It's really just a pinch. And then at the end, we're going to add in a third of a cup of olive oil. Now, I also like to add in powdered coffee, but my mom can no longer have coffee. So what I'm gonna do is add, I'm going to blend everything together, pour out half of the molds, and then I'll add the coffee in for the half of the batch that we're gonna keep. So let's get started. First, let's add all of the wet ingredients. So that'll be two full cans of coconut milk, full fat. Two avocados. This one's a little bit firm, but it'll be okay. That Vitamix will take care of that without any problem. You're gonna love this recipe. It is so rich. And one thing I love about the fudge sickles, other than using the ice cream machine, is that you're ready to eat it right away. It, when you use the ice cream machine, you have to wait. Sometimes it's 45 minutes before the mixture is soft enough that you can scoop it out. <laughs> and by then, I don't really want it anymore. I'm, I'm gone. To, I'm on to something else. My attention span isn't that long. <laughs> All right, so we've got that in. Now we have three quarters of a cup of erythritol, a half a cup of powdered cocoa, Two teaspoons of vanilla. Those yummy chocolate chips. That's about a half a cup. Now, um, to save your ears, all right, we've got everything blended up with the exception of the olive oil. It looks like a thick pudding, but once I add the olive oil in, it's going to be even a thicker mix mixture. And it's just a great way to add more good polyphenols and more good fat to your diet. And it really gives it a nice creamy, creamy texture. And when you have, when you eat the fudge sickle, it's not icy. It's just really smooth and creamy, very rich. Okay, we're gonna pour that in. That's a third of a cup of olive oil. And I'll put the lid back on so that I don't get it all over the place. All right. The olive oil is all pulsed in, and we're ready to pour out half the molds before we add the instant coffee. You can see it's really like a thick chocolate pudding. <laughs> it's pretty yummy. All right, so this um, mold set comes with lids. You know, I think what I'll do is I'll show you, I'll put the other one together and show you how they go together. It's, it'll be easier. Okay, I keep them, I separate them and keep them in a Ziploc bag because there's all these moving parts 
and that way they don't get lost in my cupboard, which is always a possibility. Okay, so each, each set comes with six, and there's a little snap-in groove here that you put those individual uh, molds in. And then it comes with a silicone funnel that makes it pretty easy to fill these up. Now, this can be a little bit of a messy job, but don't worry about it. it it all works out. So we're going to start off with doing the, let's see, as I said, it, it's a little hard to control, but you just have to take your time. All right, so there's one. We'll go through this whole process until I get halfway through. I'm not going to bore you with filling every single one of these up, so we'll come back once I get this filled up. Okay, everybody, we're back. And while I have your attention, do me a favor, go down below and like and subscribe to my video. Okay, um, now we're, we're about ready to finish up. What I wanted to tell you that is important with these molds is you want to make sure that you top these up to the very top so that when you snap the lids on that they have a good hold so when they defrost your popsicle or your fudgesicle doesn't fall off. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to clean this up really easily. It's a, it's a little bit messy because this is such a thick mixture it's hard to control. It's much easier if you're making coconut pops. And by the way when you order these uh, molds there's a little booklet that comes with them that has lots of different coconut milk recipes with oh, lime juice, lemon juice, lots of different things that are compliant for Plant Paradox and Applewe for people. So anyway, this, I wanted to do chocolate because that's my favorite. Anyway, we're gonna snap these lids in now. And they're all the way up to the top so they'll be nice and snug. Get all six of them on. Sometimes they, there we go. Now you can see in the bottom of the tray, there's kind of a mess and I'm gonna show you how to take care of that so that these are nice and clean when they go into the freezer and it doesn't look unsightly. Okay, so all we're gonna do is make sure that's on. Okay, all six of them are on tight and as you can see, it's messy in there and can't help that. So we're gonna go over to the sink and I'm just gonna run a little water through this and it'll wash it all off and it'll be ready to go in. Okay, that's it. Perfect, nice and cleaned up and ready to pop into the freezer. Before I do that, I'm going to make the second batch with adding, I'm gonna be adding the, coca, the um, coffee extract because I like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is a delicious quick recipe. Um, it's one of those treats that you feel really guilty about eating, but it's absolutely compliant. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot for your support.